welcome to another episode of Where Is Nico? It's golden week here in China and I've decided to ditch the city and head for some countryside. So this is Where Is Nico in Mongolia. to enjoy this authentic experience then I would recommend booking through Airbnb. I'll leave the link below as well as a tasty discount code if you're new to the site. but they are beautifully constructed with wooden poles and other traditional materials. Each one is equipped with a log burning stove to keep you nice and toasty throughout the night. over the windswept grasslands and not a soul in sight. This is the ideal place to come to unwind for a couple of days. If you're an active type, you won't be sure of things to do. You can walk in all directions, seeing lots of wildlife along the way, stumble across the sand dunes to go sand sledging, sharpen up your archery skills, or ride a horse. large communal year where you can enjoy some hearty Mongolian food or kick back with a beer in front of the fire after a long day of hiking. The meals are excellent value and it was great to try some traditional dishes. Evenings are best spent staring up at the Milky Way or practicing your Mongolian dancing skills. and it's already really cold in the evenings so I recommend bringing a jumper or three. This is my first experience of Inner Mongolia. The warm culture and stunning landscapes I discovered have left me wanting to come back already. As it's just a seven hour drive from Beijing, it's safe to say I will. <laughs> 